Hey guys, so I'm curious to know if this is a better connection. Did I remember to do the title? Um, what do you think? I'm, I'm really curious. So I just did my McKellen Motivational Monday and I just wanted to uh, update you guys also on um, my movie. What's going on with it? How it's been? So let me see if I can go ahead and start Facebook at the same time. Yeah, here. Yeah, so how is the, uh, how's the connection? How does it compare? Any of you guys who were on the one before, let me know um, how it looks. Thank you, so, and by the way, thank you to anyone who, uh, <laughs> only Periscope. Now, now, come on, we gotta share. D Squad in the house, thanks. It's better right now? Okay, that's interesting because I have this, uh, this MiFi thing that I just assumed would be stronger. This is what I get to have with me on set. And, um, but then there's the hotel's Wi-Fi, so it looks better on the hotel's Wi-Fi. How about that? All right, let's go live here on Facebook as well. Hey, everybody. So I'm back. We just finished my Kelly Motivational Monday, and now we are just going to talk about the movie that I'm making a little bit. <laughs> hey, everybody. So thank you to everyone who is sharing and following. I always really appreciate that. Wi-Fi is better than a hotspot. Oh yeah, okay, so before the connection was uh, a little bit weak, I was told, on both platforms. And so I went from using my little MiFi hotspot thing to the hotel's Wi-Fi. Um, so anyway, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for sharing. So this movie I'm doing, I'm shooting a movie for Hallmark. This is my fifth movie with Hallmark. The first one that I'm actually producing as well. I've been involved with it for a long time, like over a year. And um, what was really fun about this was getting to be involved in like the script and just really great. I actually got to watch the casting tapes, which was fun because I've been on the other side of it many, many times before. I know the light is super bright. You know, on, on Facebook, it doesn't, light, it doesn't look so bright. Let me try to find it back up a little bit. There we go. I can't use my... There we go. Okay, this is better. Okay, so anyway, so this movie, it's, uh, it's a springtime movie for Hallmark Channel. It's a camping movie. Right now, we're calling it Campfire Kiss. And I haven't put that in writing yet because we, it's not necessarily a final title, but I just like it and it kind of gives it more of an identity. I haven't found out yet um, from publicity if they think it's going to stay the same title or not. My outfit is not an outfit. It's just the thing I wore to set today. I get to set and then they dress me. So I don't have to really think too much about what I'm going to wear in the morning, which is nice. I typically wear the same thing every day for a week because I wear it for about an hour in the morning and then about an hour or two at night and that's it. <laughs> so uh, so it's a, it's a campfire movie. It's camp, I mean like a camping movie. And of course it's a romantic comedy as usual. And it's been snowing. So one of the things I was most concerned about when um, I started, we st were scheduling this movie was I was really concerned that we're, since we're shooting it in Vancouver, that it was going to be really rainy because that was, that's the forecast. Typically in Vancouver, it's very, very rainy, um, like all through December, January, February, you name it, rainy, rainy, which means dreary and drab and not necessarily very pretty. And because this is an outdoor movie, usually, I mean, I mean, mostly because it is a camping movie, it happens at a campsite, then I was like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? How are we going to make this movie look beautiful? And we hired a great DP. It's a guy I, I love. His name is Kamal. Um, I met him on Wedding Bells, a movie that I did for the Hallmark a few, uh, last year at some point. And I, so I requested him and he's, I knew he'd do a fantastic job, but still, if it's really rainy all the on things and I was very impatient I wanted to shoot the movie back in September and there were all sorts of delays for all sorts of reasons and that's what happens in this business and it's nobody's fault it's what had to happen for various reasons and uh here we are in January and it's not raining here it's sprinkled like a little bit today but it's been too cold to rain it's been snowy and so it's been sunny and snowy and gorgeous like I mean it's so beautiful I never could have planned it and this is actually a great example of the, of the uh, topic of patience that I talked about. Because I was, I was feeling impatient and there was nothing I could do. So I had to just let it go. And when we finally did shoot, it was better than I could have imagined. Certainly better than I could have planned. So you never know. Um, so that was, uh, that's, that's, we have had a great first week. The first day was a little bit rough um, because it was so cold and we had no water in our trailers at all. So we 
and people were slipping and sliding all over the place. Really dangerous and icy everywhere. A lot of delays. We didn't get the full day of shooting that we needed to get done. Um, but ever since then, it's been fantastic. The movie is going to be really cute, Rachel. I think you're going to love it. It's, uh, it should be, I believe, March 25th is when we're going to premiere. That is not set. It might be April 1st, but it's probably going to be March 25th, I'm pretty sure. I will, of course, let you know, and if you follow me on social media at all, you will be well aware of when the movie is airing <laughs> because I tend to be very involved with social media and really in touch with you guys quite a bit. Instagram, Facebook Live, Periscope. I'm okay on Snapchat. I'm not that great, but I I've been Snapchatting and Instagram storing a lot of um, a lot of this movie because it's they're short. It's so short to do a little Snapchat or a little Instagram story. The movie right now is called Campfire Kiss, but that could very well change. It often does, but it's a campfire movie and it happens in early spring. It's set in Colorado and it is a romantic comedy. I don't get Snapchat either, Met Guy. I mean, I'm trying. We'll see. <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. I will say that my son loves the filters. He loves pretending to be doggies and licking this screen for some reason. Is Murray there from Practical Jokers? Jason, no, he's not here right now. No, he is not in Vancouver. But he did text me on my birthday, which was January 3rd. My Snapchat ray is just Danica McKellar. And there are a few snaps on there right now from today's shooting and Instagram stories on there. I try not to do the exact same ones. That way if people follow me on Snapchat and Instagram stories, they're not like, oh, I just saw this. Some of them overlap. I'll do a similar one, but it, I try to make them kind of different. Oh, well, thank you so much for all the belated birthday wishes. I appreciate that. I did a little birthday uh, periscope, I believe, and a lot of you did. The most amount of snow we've had here in Vancouver for a long time. Yeah, it doesn't typically snow here in Vancouver. Will I be on Home and Family to promote the mo new movie, Scott? Uh, most certainly. I would, I can't imagine what circumstance would keep me from doing that. <laughs> Campfire Kiss. Yeah, I thought it was kind of fun. But you never know. I don't know if I'll get to keep it. I actually, I came up with that name. But again, names change all the time. Draco right now is in Los Angeles, but he'll be back up here this weekend. He was with me all weekend, and he'll be back up again this coming weekend with my mom again. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Oh, the music did stop, DJ <laughs> DJ Danica. Yes, Lionel, because it stopped. Well, you know what? I, I didn't have the, um, I'm not doing my Make Heller Motivational Monday per se anymore. That was, I had Patience and Faith, those two songs on a little playlist. My newest project, Jay, is I've just been talking about it. I'm doing a Hallmark movie up here, a Hallmark Channel movie up here in Vancouver. It's currently called Campfire Kiss. That name will probably change. And um, it'll be on, I believe, March 25th on Hallmark Channel. But that date could absolutely change. It might be April 1st. Who knows? I will let, I'll be letting you know, though. Am I famous, Husky Bond? That is, everything is relative. I've been acting for 30 years, and some people know me from the Wonder Years when I was a kid. Some people know me from the West Wing or other random things, How I Met Your Mother, Big Bang Theory. But these days, I mostly do a lot of Hallmark movies. I did a Lifetime movie um, January 1st, it came out, called Mommy, I Didn't Do It. That was a lot of fun. We did live tweeting together. And this is my fifth Hallmark movie in less than two years. Those guys have been great to me. What character most closely resembles my personality? That's interesting. I'm not sure. A lot of them have a lot of me in them, to be honest. Oh, thank you, Met Guy. I thought that was a fun... Oh, Dancing with the Stars. Yes, I was also on Dancing with the Stars. Uh two and a half years ago <laughs> yoga teaches you patience that's great christmas movies yes christine I, I have three christmas movies that we're playing two on a hallmark channel and one on lifetime uh chris i don't get a lot of comparison between my current characters and and winnie from the wonder years i just get a lot of people remember remembering the wonder years and just saying how much they liked it which is really sweet my character's name in this movie is Dana. Right now, her last name is Henderson, but oddly enough, that often changes too, for some reason. I'm not sure if it's ever said out loud, so maybe it doesn't matter. You watch Home and Family every day? Oh, cool, Lois. Uh, out to see, I did do a yoga scope once that I believe is, I think I've done more than one, but I did one that's that uh, once Periscope started saving 
these scopes instead of just deleting them after 24 hours. So I think that's on there. If you scroll way down, you can probably see one. Hello, Alician from Turkey. Very cool. The most memorable character to me, Jared. Oh, that's really, that's really difficult. I usually, it's the one I'm doing right now is, is the one I love the most. Memorable makes me think it's like, it's been a while. I mean, of course, Winnie Cooper was memorable. It was something that people just loved. And I, I am so appreciative of that. I also loved being on the West Wing. That was so fun. Those, er, saying Aaron Sorkin's words was like poetry. It was fantastic. I loved it. I, I, yes, I am on Project MC Squared, Rosalie. That's a Netflix show. It's about four teenage girls who are basically Charlie's angels, and I play the Charlie character. I give them their missions, and I'm also the mom of one of them. Really cute show for, for young girls. Project, Project MC Squared. And, uh, oh, thank you, Mike. Yes, I write math books as well. I have my newest one coming out. It's called Goodnight Numbers. It's for little kids, like little ones, like early, early readers. And younger, so you read it to your child when they're going to sleep. Good night, numbers. It's available and uh, for pre-order. It comes out in March, just a couple of weeks before the current movie that I'm doing comes out. And yes, that was on purpose. Oh, something else I can tell you about this movie is that I play a math teacher in it. That's my character's job. It mostly it happens at the campsite, but she happens to be a math teacher, and I've never played a math teacher before. I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Oscar. Oh my gosh, Eddie Panetti. That was a character on The Wonder Years, I think, Ryan. That's funny. I am doing Paris. Yeah, Bilo, I'm doing Periscope and Facebook Live at the same time. And I did not bring my Archon Mounts up here with me to Vancouver because it just was too big to travel with, but I kind of wish that I did because I'm holding both of my devices at the same time. It's good, um, good arm exercise for, for me. These aren't PJs. This is just like a waffle top that I just wear to work because it's comfy. Oh, thank you, Blue Sky Guitars. I'm glad you liked The Wrong Woman. And then, you know, the, the sequel to that was called Mommy, I Didn't Do It, and that just aired on January 1st. Young Justice update. I don't have an update, Sophia. The last I've heard is what you've heard, and that is that we have been renewed for season three uh, after five years of being off because you guys binged Young Justice on Netflix, and I so appreciate that because what a great project to work on. I'm very excited to go back to it. Um, but we have not heard yet when we're recording again because first they have to, all the writers that were involved have to like clear their schedules and write <laughs> the new season. So I'm guessing it'll be a while before we're recording. Yes, I avoid discussing politics. It's true. Old mantras. It's just better for everyone involved, in my opinion. The longest period I did not work on like an acting project or just in general? I'm not, I'm not sure. I've always been pretty busy. Maybe actually uh, when I was super pregnant and then um, when I had a newborn baby. Although I was working on Young Justice at the time. I was doing voice work. I was leaning on the table, but that's when the light was so bright. And some of you guys asked me to go away from the light because it was too bright. So now I'm just holding these, my iPad and my phone. However, I do need to wrap this up because I should go prepare for tomorrow's day of shooting. We have a whole bunch of um, scenes to do. I need to go learn my lines. And I hope that you guys all have a wonderful... Oh, hello, Emma, in fourth grade. If you struggle with math at all, my first book called Math Doesn't Suck is actually pretty good for your age, especially as you get closer to fifth grade. I do factors and fractions, decimals, things like that. And please, guys, check out mckellarmath.com. You can actually check out mckellarmath on Instagram and Twitter, too. I'd really appreciate more followers. It's got a very small following. <laughs> it's, just this, it's just a little place to get updated on um, all things mathy in my life. So I hope that you um, will go check it out. Math on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. All very exclusive um, social media outlets. And so you'll be noticed on all of them if you write to me. And, uh, and then you can go to mckellarmath.com to see more about all my books and to be able to choose the best book for the age of your child or the person in your life who you want to get a book for. There's a big slider button and you can slide it from the earliest ages through adults to see uh, if your kid is 5 or 10 or 15 or whatever age what their best book is for them. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful night and a um, fantastic week. And if I get a chance, I will do some sort of live broadcast from set. Again, that's always a lot of fun. Uh, maybe with Paul Green, my co-star, or um, other great actors on the set. Hope you have a wonderful night. And I will see you very soon on the Danicam. You are the D-Squad. I appreciate you all so much. All your shares, all your follows. It means a lot. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.